Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. As I said in yesterday's video, we needed to hold this short term level of support for the price of Bitcoin at 60,000 US dollars. And right now in the short term, it looks like we have definitely held this level. In fact, we even broke through this downward sloping trend line right here. So in my opinion, especially if we get a breakout and then a retest blasting to the upside here, this is a very good thing for the price of Bitcoin with the next level of resistance being at 65.5K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. And in fact, if we break through this level of resistance, then the next level of resistance above that is from about 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. One last thing to note about the resistance levels is we may get a little bit of resistance right above this level of resistance right here at about 66.6K. But I do think that if we get a clear breakout and a retest above this level of resistance, then I do think it's likely that we actually reach that level above it. Now taking a look at the giant triangle pattern that we have been talking about over the last couple weeks or so, and I'm sorry that it looks a little bit messy today, but it's because I added in the liquidity levels that we'll talk about in a second. Either way, after we broke the triangle's trend line to the downside, well, we quickly started heading down and actually the price target that is currently still technically active for this breakout is at about 58,000 US dollars. But as you can see, we already got very close to this level twice, and it is no guarantee that we actually have to reach this technical price target. So I think in the short term here, especially since we held this level of support last night, I do think it's likely that we do either have a little bit of upside or some consolidating before potentially completing this pattern. However, it is of course not guaranteed especially considering that there are good reasons for the price to move down as well as very good reasons for the price to move up in the short term here. So let's take a look at those now. First of all, quickly taking a look at the Bitcoin halving countdown. The Bitcoin halving is already in one day and seven hours. And if you're new to all of this, the Bitcoin halving only happens every four years. And historically, this has been a very bullish event in the long term for Bitcoin. I don't want to get all into the details here because I do think you can just find a better video for that. But this is something that is very important. And like I have been saying over the last couple of weeks, typically the Bitcoin halving causes a lot of volatility in the market, which is exactly what we have been seeing with these crazy moves in the price. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the one week time frame. First of all, you can see we have some liquidity right above the current price at about 64.8K. And then the next level above that is already at 67,000 US dollars. In fact, let me just show you the chart so it's a little more visual. Here you can see the triangle pattern chart that we were just looking at earlier. And I've drawn out these levels of liquidity because as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. Well, actually where there's most liquidity on this chart, but I've just drawn it out in my own chart here. So in this downward move here, we didn't take out this liquidity, which also corresponds perfectly to the bottom of this price target right here. So potentially there is more downside to be seen in order for us to take out this liquidity. Though as for the bullish scenarios, it is pretty clear that there's a level of liquidity right above the current price. So seeing something like this wouldn't be completely crazy to see to take out at least this level of liquidity and then reaching the next level of resistance that I talked about earlier in the video. However, in the case that we do just break through this level of resistance, then the next level of liquidity above that are right here from about 67K all the way up to 69,000 US dollars. And by zooming out on the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, we see a pretty similar story because there's a lot of liquidity at about 73,000 US dollars. In fact, there's about $2 billion worth of people that are currently shorting the Bitcoin price that would lose their money on their trade if the price reaches this price level. Now, if you are interested in joining a crypto community, you can join my Discord server for free with the first link in the description down below. I highly recommend it. 
It's a very fun community to be a part of, as well as very informative, especially if you're a beginner, although there are also very experienced traders and investors in this community as well. So the way you join is simply by going to the description of any of my videos and you click on this Discord link right here. Like I said, it's completely free to join and you can leave at any time. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. First of all, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level where we quickly started trading to the downside. And as soon as we then lost the 618 Fibonacci level right here, well, we quickly moved down all the way here to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So this was a massive move to the downside. However, in the short term, it looks like we have found a little bit of support right here. So taking a look at the short term four hour time frame for Ethereum, in my last couple of videos, I said we're just ranging here in between these support and resistance levels, and there's not really too much else to say about that. So just in case you didn't see that video, the support level you need to watch is from about 3000 all the way down to 2850. And the resistance level that you need to watch is from about 3150 all the way up to 3250. And I do think that's about all you need to know right now for Ethereum because simply not too much else is going on. And therefore I'm just going to check back in with this tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, then do make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post that video. Now taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame. Just like Ethereum, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level. After that, we lost the 0.618 Fibonacci level, and we basically just instantly crashed well below the 0.5 Fibonacci level. In fact, we got pretty close to the 0.382 Fibonacci level, which is really crazy because if you take a look at this measured move here, it's about 46%. 45% from the highs right here in only a matter of a couple of weeks. So Solana has been having a terrible time as of late. However, if we zoom in on the short term here, it looks like Solana is finally getting a bit of a break after getting completely wrecked over the last couple of weeks. And this is also visible on the four hour RSI because you can see that this wick right here reached deep into oversold territories for Solana. In fact, we got below the 20 level on the RSI, which is really crazy to see. And sorry that this looks a bit messy, but even on the daily time frame, we are very, very close to being in oversold territories. We got to about 31 on the RSI. And as you know, as soon as we get at or below 30, then we are in oversold territories. So it definitely looks like in the short term, Solana has potentially bottomed, but I do want to give a fair warning here because I think it is very dependent on what actually happens in the price of Bitcoin. Because if we see Bitcoin, for example, losing this 60K level of support, I think all bets are off and Solana is definitely going much, much lower. In fact, I think it would be very likely that we lose this big level of support from about 133 down to 125. And as soon as we lose that level, then the next level of support below that is from about $115 all the way down to a hundred US dollars for the price of Solana. But that's about it for the bearish scenarios. Now taking a look at the bullish scenario, in the case that this actually was the bottom in the short term here, then the next level of resistance that we are already currently in pretty much is from about $140 all the way up to $150. But in the case that we do break through this level of resistance is from about 166 all the way up to $172 for the price of Solana. And I know that all of these support and resistance levels look pretty close to each other. But in fact, this move to the upside here would be about 24%. And this move to the downside here would also be about 25%. So we're talking about big, big moves in the price of Solana. As soon as we break either this level to the upside or this level to the downside. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how I trade crypto, I recommend you check out this video on the bottom left side of your screen right now called when to buy and sell crypto as a beginner in 2024, because this goes deeper into the way I use support and resistance levels, as well as a bunch of other indicators that help me speculate on where the price is going in the short term. So go check that out. Thank you for watching once again, subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.